Sunday afternoon, Oakland Coliseum in Oakland, California, the home opener for the Oakland Invaders, 34,000 plus on hand to see the New Orleans Breakers. First quarter, the Breakers' first possession, Johnny Walton hits Frank Lockett, 34-yard game. That led to a field goal. Then in the second quarter of play, the Breakers' leading running back, Richard Crump, scores the game's only touchdown from one yard out. It's 10-0 Breakers. The Breakers' defense held Oakland under, under 150 yards in total offense. Watch as poor Fred Bassani gets sacked again. He's all too used to that. The final score in Oakland, the Breakers go to 2-0 as they beat the Oakland Invaders 13-0. Then last Friday night in the Valley of the Sun, Sun Devil Stadium, Tempe, Arizona, the Tampa Bay Bandits ride into town against the Arizona Wranglers. We're tied at three, second quarter, Tampa Bay punting, but Lenny Willis fumbles the punt for Arizona. Tampa Bay Bandits recovered the Arizona 13, and Gary Anderson did the rest. He had two touchdowns in week number one, and he finds the hole here from eight yards out. Touchdown number three for him on the season, 10 to three Bandits. And just before the half, Gary Anderson says, give me the ball one more time. And the one-yard plunge is up and over the top. It's 17 to three. Bandits lead it in halftime. Fourth quarter, though, the Wranglers had one big play left. On fourth and four, veteran Greg Landry throws to Trumaine Johnson, 27 yards and a touchdown, but it was too little, too late. The Bandits hang on to win in Tempe, 20 to 17, and they go 2 and 0 on the year. Then last Saturday afternoon, Skelly Stadium, Tulsa, Oklahoma. The Denver Gold and the Oklahoma Outlaws. Second quarter, quarterback Doug Williams of Oklahoma, who threw for 259 yards on the day, fires and hits Sidney Thornton. Touchdown, 7-0 Outlaws. Third quarter, though, Denver's Craig Penrose lost it to Victor Hicks for a 53-yard gain. That led to a gold touchdown that would eventually tie the score at 7 all. Then they go into overtime, tied at 14. Outlaws Bob Boris drops the punt snap. He's tackled at the 4. Ryan Spielman says, let me kick it right now. Spielman lines up, 21 yards out. It's good. In overtime, the Denver Gold go to 2-0. and They beat Oklahoma 17-14. Record crowd of over 72,000 to see the New Jersey Generals and the Jacksonville Bulls and the Bulls leading by six in the second quarter. But hey, their quarterback, Matt Robinson, intercepted, throwing out of his own end zone. Here's Bobby Leopold, late of the 49ers, down with the Generals. Touchdown, Generals led by one at halftime. Fourth quarter, New Jersey up by two. Bulls knocking on the door. Running back Larry Mason, the pivotal play in this ball game. He fumbles before breaking the plane of the end zone. Right there, it's a clear fumble, and New Jersey's Terry Daniels recovers for the New Jersey Generals. The Generals dodge a big bullet there. On the Bulls' next possession, Matt Robinson again throwing from his own end zone, and again he's intercepted. This time by 12-year veteran of the Cincinnati Bengals, Jim LeClaire, as they break up a Jacksonville drive. That led to a New Jersey score, making it 28-19. Matt Robinson is not pleased. Then the Bulls score to make it 28-26. They have one last shot. The onside's kick. Will it be successful? The answer is yes. Here comes Chester G. He recovers. And the crowd is going crazy at the Gator Bowl. Now, for the chance to pull it out, Danny Miller with a field goal. Is it good or not? It is over the upright. It is just to the right. It is no good. New Jersey hangs on for a big win. The Generals win it 28 to 26. Then last Saturday night, the Silverdome, Pontiac, Michigan. A game seen live on ESPN. Pittsburgh Ballers, Michigan Panthers. Ballers open the scoring. Mike Rozier, his first full touchdown over the top. And Pittsburgh takes a 7-0 lead. Late in the second quarter, we are tied at 7. Michigan on the drive. Quarterback Bobby Bear back to pass. He throws. The pass deflected and picked off by Dan Short of the Maulers. And Short is not going to be short this time. He goes all the way to the end zone. Pittsburgh Maulers lead it 14-7 at halftime. Third quarter, the Panthers back to punt for their end zone. It's blocked by Ira Albright. Second block punt against David Greenwood of the Panthers in two games. Pittsburgh's Walt Holman recovers. Pittsburgh led at this point 21-14. Fourth quarter, now it's 21-17, the Maulers. Watch Terry Miller, formerly of Oklahoma State. 20-yard scoring job. The Panthers retake the lead 24-21. 35 seconds to go. We're tied up at 24. Here's that man again. Novo Bojovic, and it is good from 19 yards out. The garlic in the glove works again. Final, Michigan Panthers win it 27 to 24 in an exciting game at the Silverdome. Meanwhile, at RFK Stadium in the nation's capital, Sunday afternoon, Philadelphia Stars and the hard luck Washington Federals. First quarter, Washington scores first as quarterback Mike Hohenzey, who would be injured later on, connects with Joey Walters. PAT no good, 6 0. Washington suffering two costly injuries, one to Hohenzey, and this one a crushing one to running back Craig James. Torn knee ligaments, he is out for at least six weeks. In the fourth quarter, though, watch Philadelphia on offense as we see James being carried off the field. For Philadelphia, Chuck Fusina to Willie Collier. Watch this catch by Collier. Is this an all-pro catch or what? Touchdown. Philadelphia hangs on to win. In the nation's capital, the Stars go 2-0. They win it 17-6. And then Sunday afternoon in a driving rainstorm at the Liberty Bowl. Kept the crowd down, but they were happy Memphis beat the Chicago Blitz. Good day for Memphis quarterback Walter Lewis out of Alabama. Second quarter on the rollout. Lewis to Trudell Middleton. Formerly of the Packers, he's in there 7-0. 
Then watch Walter Lewis again in the quagmire that was the Liberty Bowl field. He finds Alan Reed. Reed dives literally into the mud puddle in the end zone. 13-0 Memphis. Lewis was not through. He finds Crawford in the end zone here. Walter Lewis, the rookie from Alabama, three touchdown passes. The Memphis Showboats win their first game ever as they beat the Chicago Blitz in the rain, 23-13.